Hey, what's up, everybody? Back once again, and it's been a while since I kind of did a review. Um, and uh, yeah, it's quite a thing to review here. Uh, this uh, VST um, diversion uh, kind of rocked my world uh, <laughs> recently, um, and it's uh, <clears throat> really interesting that uh, to think uh, I didn't really hear about this for. Uh, the little while I heard about it on uh, KVR, people talking about it, um, but uh, didn't really check it out. Um, but uh, this um, instrument uh, could very well uh, replace Silent One. Um, it seems, um, and it's made by I think it's made by a guy who makes uh, dance music, um, just because of its layout and uh, its robustness, I should say. Um, and just like the little, the little things that it does, um, very well laid out, um, good modulation matrix, um, and all that fun stuff, um, envelopes, uh, easy to pick up, um, and one of, one of the biggest things is that every oscillator has, well, one, like a big, there's a big list of big things that this, uh, synth has. Uh, but one of the biggest ones is each oscillator has its own filter section and you can bus um, each of your filters to other um, uh, one of two post-processing uh, buses um, before you go into another processing uh, bus at the end with a, a nice kind of selection of uh, chorus and flanger and all that fun stuff um, so basically this is kind of like kind of picture it like if massive no silent one and uh, access virus kind of came together the reason I say that because it's not just regular kind of filter you have quite a bit of um, filter types and then uh, filter drive types so you can get uh, kind of an analog sound with it so here we go you could bring it down and then drive it and then you can kinda you can soft clip it turn a sine wave into a saw if you want um, and the resonance, it kind of self-oscillates. It's really fun, naturally. You can get some kind of weird sounds. Terrible example, I know. But, yeah, and, and there's four of these, um, each oscillator going into them. Of course, there's FM, but the wicked thing... It's just... The wicked thing is that it has this little hidden button, and you can kind of draw in your own shapes. It's kind of like an uh, uh, operator, and what you can do is you can say, draw in a saw wave, which passes as a saw wave, um, and then comb filter it. It gives it kind of that hard sync sound, and then, you know, add some hard sync. And then multiply. And then bit reduce it. Why not? And then you're going to kind of add a vowel filter. And this is all, I believe the shape is every time you alter it, um, it kind of saves itself to a RAM or it draws in or I don't know, whatever happens. But it's really interesting to uh, do this sort of thing. And you can get some really wacky sounds. And uh, yeah, and then let's say we'll add some low end. I believe this will add some low end. Oops. Um. Yeah. Um. That's that's the kind of draw mode, oscillator draw mode. What's also really really fun is that. 
each oscillator has its own kind of X, Y uh, controller. That doesn't do anything right now. Um, it has uh, quite a few wavetables. I'm sure it'll add more. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. I'm sure these are modeled after certain things. Fatty, I assume, would be a Moog. <laughs> triangle wave who knows um, yeah you have that you can add a sub oscillator it's all it's all very typical synth stuff and you can kind of chip tune it like bit reduce it I believe this stuff yeah one thing of course that is oversampling and I believe it does times eight oversampling when you render one thing you can tell this is made by a guy who makes dance music. You can it has a like an automatic uh, EQ button on the top kind of thing, so you can it automatically boosts the treble because a lot of times since they did lack the high end, so you'll take an EQ and uh, you'll boost um, you know on the high end to kind of give it more Christmas, uh, crisp, Christmas, not Christmas. Um, yeah, and you can there's. A bunch of optical three, soft, normal, then bright. Right, it adds like a, an EQ curve um, uh, to the whole synth, which uh, is kind of positive, in my opinion. Uh, it has good sounding unison. Uh, not so taxing on the CPU. We'll go two. We'll stereo it for a. Kind of a lead saw sound or whatnot. You can always tell if a unison is good uh, by how it sounds on the low end, so let's bring it down. Yeah, and my CPU's jumping up to eight or nine. Um, and yeah, D click. I'm sure, that does stuff. Who knows? Um, but yeah, and you have your four oscillators, and you can uh, kind of go nuts with that. Uh, you have your routing here. Uh, you can add like uh, distort uh, distortions. You have filter distortion, and then um, like a post processing distortion, and then for your yeah, you can have more distortion down there. Uh, modulation matrix. Yeah, you got uh, three envelopes in an amplitude envelope. Um, you can turn it. You, you turn them on. You can um, right click, and then you can add that to your three LFOs or one of your envelopes. Uh, you can, so you can mul you can um, map multiple um, parameters to the same envelope if you want. Let's make a basic saw. Fun. Um, one of my favorite things is a uh, transcate, and there hasn't I haven't really come across a transcate um, in a VST since. What is that called? ReFX? What they do? Vanguard. Yeah, Vanguard. It didn't really sound too good. Right, so you have like instant trance mode, um, and of course you'll have your effects. So you can add a, you can add delay, uh, going into a reverb. And then uh, alter your kind of cutoff, your resonance for that squelchy feel. Yeah, 
Let's uh, boost up the unison and try to break it and oversample it. Whoa! 80% CPU. It's happening. Oh, we got some crackling. So yeah, basically, you want to keep it uh, two times over sampling, which is default, which is double the resolution, uh, which should be fine in most cases. Um, if you're using hardcore unison, I'd go um, above and beyond that. Um, and da -da 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 -da. yeah, basically, that's diversion. Uh, no presets, which is fine. Um, but you can do quite a bit of neat things with it. It's not so much um, like a one-dimensional synth. It's basically, it, they try to make it a Swiss Army Knife subtractive FM wavetable editing beast, some would say. So, uh, yeah. Just try to make a neat little sound here. So that's kind of a deep kind of trance sound. You know, you want to compress that, whatever. Wait, let's see. Grain shifter. Let's try that out. And then, uh, oh, distortion. Why not? Sounds terrifying, but that's my kind of thing. Um, yeah, that's my review for Diversion. I uh, quite enjoyed what would I change on it. Um, yeah, what would I change? Yeah, it seems kind of kind of perfect, I would say. Uh, more presets is its only kind of downfall. Um, Uh, I don't like blank noise. Wait, let's see. Yeah, well, more of a general um, wavetable. I'm sure they're going to add more. And, yeah, and it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's routing is good. Um, yeah, I guess I, I can't think of anything to change on it. Uh, seems good in terms of how it's laid out. I like how each oscillator is its own kind of entity with its own filter uh, cutoff, or filter section, filter and uh, distortion section, or drive section. But yeah, that's it. That's my review.